Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing the all new Chevy Colorado. Now this one is the Z71 package, and before you ask, yes, I plan on reviewing every single package on the new Colorado. Before we get into this video though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Chevy here in Murray, Utah for giving me some time with this Colorado. I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have. If you have any questions, need any help, just ask for Nick and Gage. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering the new Colorado is a turbocharged 2.7 liter four cylinder that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 310 horsepower and then 390 pound feet of torque. Now, there is not an EPA rating for the Colorado yet, but from what I've heard, average fuel economy is gonna be somewhere in the low 20s. Doo -doo -doo, on the screen. Now, before we go over the front end, I do wanna mention, if you wanna see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood design, notice how it's like raised in the center, pretty aggressive with all of the lines. And then here's a quick look at the headlights and notice the daytime running light, that looks pretty cool. And then you can see the fog lights down below, it looks like those are also LEDs. Z71 here in the grill, notice the Chevy bow tie. And then we've got the red tow hooks here at the very bottom with the air dam. Now finishing things up with the Z71 package, you've got about 8.9 inches of ground clearance, the Trail Boss and then the ZR2 have more ground clearance if that's what you're looking for. Boop. Now, pop around the side here, tire wheel setup is 255, 55, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. And I really like the wheel design here with the silver there and everything, but 20s on a mid-sized truck, getting pretty blingy. Anyways, I love the cut here on the fender. Notice Colorado there, meerkat blacked out. And then you do have keyless entry there with the door. And then for those of you wondering, Colorado still does utilize leaf springs. And then here's your full side view on the Colorado. I think it looks really cool. And again, this is just the Z71 package. Now here's our key fob. We have our unlock function or lock function, remote start, and then you got the Chevy bow tie there on the back. Now with the tailgate, notice it is dampened, so it slowly lowers down. We have a payload capacity of 1,452 pounds with this truck. We've got this ruler here on the back so you can let your lady know how manly you are. Uh, anyways, if we push those to the side, then we can actually lift this up right here. Pretty cool, it is uh, drainable if you guys are wondering. So uh, <laughs> basically a built-in uh, beer chest in a way. Um, but anyways, locking those back up, pretty simple. Now as for the bed, pretty decent size overall. It does also have a power outlet as well. And then lifting up the tailgate, it's actually pretty dang light and easy to get into place. Now here are the taillights on the new Colorado, and then you guys can see we've got the bumper step in normal Chevy fashion. Parking sensors here in the rear with the receiver hitch. Now towing capacity with this is almost 8,000 pounds, like 7,700 pounds. And finishing things up, let me know what you think about the new style here with the Colorado. Now popping over here to the door panel, it's actually hard touch up here, but where you actually rest your arm, it is padded. It's got some cool stitching throughout. You get your window control as well, and then some storage at the bottom. And then here are the seats, really cool red stitching, and then notice with the red insert there, perforated all down the center. Looks very premium. And then there is some under seat storage as well. You can see it's pretty good. It's just a little latch that you use to access it. So pretty simple. Now legroom back here, I mean, it's it's livable, but it's still a mid-sized truck at the end of the day. If you want room in the back, you get a full-size pickup truck. Anyways, you got some cup holders. We got some vents here in the back with some USBs. And then this actually also happens to have of course, a cup holder armrest. And notice with the rear glass, gotta open it up yourself. And for those of you wondering, headroom back here is pretty solid. Now taking a look at the front door panel, look at this trim piece, that's pretty cool. And then it's actually padded up here and then also down below with all the stitching. You notice how that continues across, that's pretty cool. All of our window controls, looks like just the driver windows, automatic, your mirror adjustments, got memory seats, blind spot monitoring as well. And then look at the front seat here. Notice again perforated and you can see right there. I like the design. I think that's pretty cool. Makes the seat look a little bit more premium. And we do have our power adjustments here on the side. And then you get like your hood latch release here. Trailer brake controls are actually integrated here on the side. And then look, even here has some nice stitching. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, really nice material use all around. You got red stitching on the center, which is pretty cool. And I like the overall design. I think it looks pretty sweet. There are radio controls on the back. And notice we've got a heat servo button on the steering wheel. You've got like your voice command controls, adaptive cruise control, a little turn signal stock there on the side as well. And there's the steering wheel. 
So my camera's having a really hard time focusing on this gauge cluster, but regardless, you just press that button on the steering wheel and it changes the view here. And I don't know, I think it's pretty cool, all the different little like things you can see here on the gauge cluster. It definitely makes it feel like more unique, more customizable as well. Now we also have a 360 camera system here with the Colorado. I mean, literally every single angle is covered with this, even the zoom in on the receiver hitch. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, this is straight out of the new Silverado is what it looks like. You got a little volume control here on the side, um, but basically like shortcut bar here, right on the side, pretty simple, straightforward with that. And then you have like the main screen here with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Now, yes, uh, well, first off, we'll go to the off-road stuff, which is pretty cool. So you press this and it'll let you know the off-road information, which I find fun. But yes, a lot of features are controlled here. So like the lights, it's in the infotainment system, for example. So that is something that takes a second to get used to. Now we do have dual zone climate with this truck, heated and ventilated seats as well, which is a really nice feature to have. And then look at like the dash, just like the design and the material. So I think it looks pretty sweet. Anyways, this rolls down all the windows at once. Your auto stop, start hazard lights, lane departure, and then that's for your auxiliary. And you guys can see, got some USBs and a wireless phone charging pad. We got our shifter here for the eight speed automatic plus and minus here on the side so you can manually shift if you want. And then there's a parking brake behind it. And then this is our drive mode slash drive line select. So you twist for the drive mode and then you press the different buttons in for the drive line. So I just put it into four wheel auto and then if I press that, that'll put it back into two wheel high. Got some cup holder action here and then you can see with the center console and then storage space is pretty good. You also have this like removable piece as well, which helps out. And then glove box also solid. Now up top here we do have a sunroof and then you guys can see the controls right there for the sunroof as well. Now when it comes to pricing, this Z71 has equipped stickers for about $46,000. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, and throughout the rest of the rear, and Colorado away. And I'd be lying if this was, if I said this was the first time I have driven the new Colorado because, well, I drove the Colorado sibling vehicle, but I can't talk about that because I had to take the uh, video down for, for reasons, for reasons. Eventually the video will be back up, but <laughs> It'll be cool to see how the regular output version performs because I've only driven the high output that goes in, I won't mention the name of the truck, but in in GM truck, you can actually get it in that Colorado. So we'll just pretend like I've driven a high output Colorado. That's what that's what we'll say for uh, today's review sake. But all jokes aside, I'm, I'm super impressed with these uh, trucks, the new Colorado and then the uh, new other <laughs> GM truck. It's just like, this really is like, I feel like revitalizing the mid-sized truck market because mid-sized trucks for so long have just felt outdated and boring. And like this, this is definitely not that. So initially getting up and moving. Yeah, just like, uh, yeah, it reminds me of, it reminds me of something else I've driven. Super comfortable with the ride. Like that's, that's one of the things that's super impressive with this new, we'll just call it GM's, GM's new mid-sized truck. We'll see that. Like it's, it's almost like the same as a full-size truck with the right quality. It's really good. Like the damping's great. And you know, despite the fact that it has leaf springs in the back end, like it's, it's solid. And this engine has so much torque. Again, 390 pound feet. Now I'd be lying if I could tell you that there is like a perceivable like feel difference, at least on the low end with this versus the high output version. I'll have to see when I get a, you know, big macho acceleration, but you know, so far I'd say that this, yeah, at least on the low end, it doesn't really feel different. I'm making a turn here, something I wanna mention is I like the lightweight feel of the Colorado and the steering's also really good as well. Um, some of the midsize trucks, uh, Tacoma, <laughs> have like this heavy feel and the steering's not all that direct. And so it's, this this definitely feels like a much more modern vehicle with the driving dynamics yeah going over these little like i know this isn't like crazy bumps or anything but like going over the manhole covers and everything it's so crazy how good the damping is with this new colorado i'm impressed well we're going over the train tracks here i want to see again the damping over this little yeah it's just like a full-size truck gosh dang it but let's 
<laughs> this thing rips. Um, yeah, when you go full throttle, I'd say that there is a perceivable difference with the the torque. Like this doesn't it this doesn't feel like it has a, as much of a push right off the bat. Good thing we're not going that way. Jeez, that would have been miserable. Um, but yeah, it definitely it definitely feels like it has less of a push compared to the high output with the 430 pound feet of torque rating. But I mean, this thing for a mid-sized truck, it freaking rips, man. It's it's quick. I'll get one more acceleration um, at the tail end of the video, but like summing things up with this Colorado. Um, now this is just the Z71. Like I'm super excited to review the Trail Boss version and then the ZR2. That's the one that I'm really hyped up to review, but it's comfortable. I think it looks really cool. Um, and again, I feel like you have to compare this ride quality to like full size pickup trucks, not other mid size pickup trucks. It's that good. Um, the damping's really good. And again, this isn't even the, like, I have a feeling that like the ZR2 is gonna have like a such, cause it's gonna have the multi-matic shocks and everything and the bigger tires, like the damping on this being this good, like I'm super excited for that. So yeah, I mean, this just blows everything out of the water when it comes to a mid-sized truck currently. Okay, well, this will be our final acceleration. <laughs> this thing puts down the power. It's, it's fun. But yeah, let me know what you think about the new Colorado.